What is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And holy cow, yesterday you guys blew me away at the amount of support you guys showed in my new series, How to Get Elite Guns. And I asked you guys in the comment section below to comment what gun you wanted to see in episode 2. And it was an absolute landslide. Every single person said like the AK-12 Rip or the Obsidian Steed or something like that. And today, I'm bringing you guys the AK-12 RIP Elite Assault Rifle. So if you guys could do me a favor, you guys really want to support this series and show your love to it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button right now. If we get it 1500 likes or no yeah 50, i think we can hit 1500 likes so if you guys hit the thumbs up on i would love you forever and ever so uh, let's get right into this guy so the ak-12 rip i thought i wasn't gonna do uh, my first thought was like you know what there's no way i'm gonna be able to do this gun um it has plus one damage and there's no ak-12 variant out there that is plus damage without hurting the fire rate. so i'm like you know what ak-12 rip not even gonna attempt it but you know just gonna give up on it but then i saw so many of you guys comment so many of you guys actually want to see this so i'm like you know what i'm gonna do some research i'm gonna look up some things i'm gonna look at all the variants of it and see if there's any way i can make a gun even close to the ak-12 rip so you're gonna see the ak-12 rip popping up on your screen right now you see it has plus one damage minus two accuracy or no plus two accuracy my bad minus one mobility and then minus two ammunition and what minus and am ammunition means is for every minus one ammunition it takes away four bullets in the clip so the ak-12 rip only has 22 bullets in the clip instead of 30 which believe it or not is a huge deal and i think that alone makes the class up i'm just showing you guys today even better than the ak-12 rip on its own so um like i said at the first i didn't think i could do this gun i didn't think I'd be, it'd be possible to do it since it had plus one damage but then i did some research and you're gonna see the damage uh for each of the ak-12s i'm gonna be showing you today popping up on your screen right now and you're gonna see the ak-12 rip does 33 damage at close range which makes it almost always a three shot kill which isn't bad you know for an assault rifle and at long range it's 25 damage which makes it a four shot kill so still not bad um for the ak-12 rip it's, it's it's good, but it's not a huge difference from the normal AK-12 or the AK-12G, um, which does 33 up close and then 24 at far. So literally the one extra damage that you see that takes the AK-12 rip from a 10 damage to an 11 damage only does one point extra of health, and that's only at long range. So it's virtually unnoticeable. Um, like like I said, I didn't think I was going to be able to do the AK-12 rip, but then I saw this. I'm like, you know, one point really shouldn't stop someone. Uh, from not using a gun or something like that so um, I was able to do a little bit of research and find a gun that also had the um, the look from Call of Duty Ghost and it wasn't like you know there's a difference between the AK-12 and Call of Duty Ghost and Advanced Warfare so I was able to find the AK-12G which you get from purchasing the season pass um, which you see on your screen right now which says no different attributes it's just exactly the same normal AK-12G um, but it looks like the one from Call of Duty Ghost and it is golden so if you put on grip on this gun it increases the accuracy plus two to be on par with the AK-12 RIP and then if you put the stock attachment on it it actually it's two more mobility than the AK-12 RIP and the thing that really makes it better in my opinion is it doesn't have any um, minus ammunition on it or anything like that so you can have all 30 bullets in your clip even 45 if you decide to put extended mags on it so that alone I think is what sets this gun apart it makes it even better make the it makes the AK-12 rip not too good of a weapon because even with extended mags on the AK-12 rip you only get 33 bullets which is still hurting you a lot so the AK-12G is definitely definitely a good option and a good alternative if you can't get the AK-12 rip in a supply drop and then after the attachments and everything on the AK-12G um, it ends up having more or, or equal accuracy as the AK-12, way better mobility, eight more bullets in the clip, and the only thing the AK-12 RIP has on it is one extra point of damage at long range, which is not even that noticeable whatsoever, at least in my opinion. So I definitely think the AK-12G with these attachments on it can be really, really good um, and can even beat the AK-12 RIP. And, you know, if you just buy the Season Pass or anything like that, and there are a ton of other um, enlisted variants that are also like the Call of Duty Ghost AK-12. So if you really want those iron sights, really want that Call of Duty Ghost feel, um, and you can't seem to get lucky and get like even an enlisted one out of supply drop, which is, I don't even understand how you couldn't get something enlisted out of supply drop because that seems to be all I can get. I can just buy the season pass, which it probably isn't worth it, but you know that I'll leave that for you to decide. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if we get at 1500 likes on this, that'll be super, super awesome. I doubt we can do it, but um, or I doubt it'll happen, but I think we can do it. You know, you guys are the best subscribers in the world, so I think we can do that. Uh, subscribe for advanced warfare content. Go ahead and drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see in the next episode of how to get elite guns in advanced warfare i love you all have a fantastic day everyone i will see you guys in another video peace out